Hello, Rebel fans. We are here in the field house with our offensive player of the game tonight, Luke Tarver, number 30. Luke, congratulations, buddy. Thank you. Outstanding night, man. Uh, Luke, tonight, over 100 yards, I think uh, Chet was saying early in the first half. Uh, five touchdowns tonight, Luke, and I think he had a, maybe a two-pointer as well in there. Tell us a little bit about your night. You guys came out hitting on all cylinders. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, uh, we, we knew we could be more physical than them up front. We knew that all week, and um, we were just ready to play. We were hungry tonight. Well, you guys came out really energized, and I, I thought the first two series were, you know, outstanding as you just took control of the line of scrimmage. You know, your guys up front really gave you big holes, and you just were pouring it on, Luke, showing a lot of that quickness on the corner. And it's like when you get into the edge, your speed is just so good. And then, you know, running through people always helps too when you get out there on the edge. Uh, tell us a little bit about the uh, Senators from Morgan. I mean, the, the good thing about those young guys is they did not quit playing, Luke. They uh, they kept trying to throw the ball. They kept trying to score. Had a lot of mistakes, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had too many penalties for one, and that, that could really hurt us in a close game. But um, they, they were a great team, really. They, they fought hard. They never gave up. And um, it's fun to play people like that. Sure. You know? Well, I, I'll tell you the thing that we were talking about. You know, the game kind of got out of hand. But, you know, they kept running, uh, I think his name is Speedy Phillips, number one, on the mm -hmm. corner. And then they started doing that clear out where they're trying to get uh, someone to pull the corner back inside and just run the ball behind him. Uh, I, I don't know why they didn't do more of that because, you know, with his great speed, you just get up in the air and he's got a chance. Uh, but uh, with people like you coming in and, and Newman putting pressure on that quarterback, it's a little bit harder to do. Oh, yeah. We, uh, we played great defensively tonight, I think. And, well, I, yeah. from, from an offensive standpoint, I mean, you were dominant. You really uh, – just kind of control the game and the tempo of the game. Anything? Did you guys do anything different, or did you just run standard offense tonight? It was just standard offense. We uh, we make few uh, minor adjustments during the week, depending on how their team lines up to what we usually run. But um, I mean, it's mostly the same thing. That's awesome, man. Listen, Luke, we uh, we congratulate you. It was truly a dominating performance, man. And it's not just on the offensive side of the ball. We love to watch you come up. Put the big hits on the defense, too. So congratulations again on the offensive player of the game. And folks, we're going to take a break. We'll come back with our defensive player in just a second. Welcome back, everyone. We're again in the field house with our defensive player of the game, Big Spencer Newman. Spencer, congratulations, buddy. It was a, uh, a pretty strong performance tonight. Yes, sir, it was. Um, did you just make up your mind tonight to dominate your side of the line of scrimmage? Yes, sir. I knew none of them could block me, so I just decided to. I knew none could block me, so might as well get back there. Well, you you really, you kind of control that entire side. I mean, your defensive front is so good, <laughs> and and you guys are just you guys are playing at a real high level and playing well together. But uh, we we just kept calling your name over and over, and you're in on plays and around the ball. And uh, the one that I really liked, Spencer, was the pass knockdown. It looked like that was kind of motivating to you as well. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, I kind of got it from last week's game. We, <laughs> uh, the, the, me and Gabe didn't really – we got kind of pushed back, and I, I know that I couldn't have got past, pushed back tonight. But after that sack, I knew they were going to throw the ball again. And, I, I mean, I really knew what was coming because their guard would basically say he needed help. <laughs> and I just <laughs> – I knew what was about to come, and I knew the little waggle pass was about to come. So, I, as Cross finally said, throw your hands up. Right. Threw my hand up, and there goes the ball down. Well, look, man, I, I, I will tell you that it was a dominating performance. I mean, you, we talk about the line of scrimmage on offense, we talk about it on defense. And, and you guys did an awesome job. I mean, we just talked to Luke after five touchdowns tonight, well over 100 yards in the first half. So I know the offensive part of you really enjoys that success. Yes, but I've got to believe that defensive mindedness comes in where you're just able to, you know, you got to stay in your lane, you got to run your position. But boy, when you get set free, uh, it's a good feeling to get back there and start smacking people. Yes, there it was. Well, it looked like to me, Spencer, one of the things that shocked me, they did not just continue to throw the ball to number one. I, somehow they, they must have believed they could run the ball up the middle and it just was not going to work. They probably turned on film and they thought they could probably run it right there and they could block me out but or try and double team me, but 
I, they didn't really stand a chance to run it. Did you guys just do your normal standard set defense tonight? Just just yes. pour it on from the standard setup. Yes, yeah, so we didn't do nothing special. We knew we knew what they were probably going to come out in, and we knew they was going to try and throw the ball a bunch. But uh, we knew they was going to try and run the ball because they couldn't run it out. So they was going to try and run it in the middle. Well, I think one of the things that always surprises people, you know, we do have guys on our defense with tremendous speed. Uh, you know, I think your quickness on the line and your strength is so important in the middle there. And then you got those defensive ends that play well mm -hmm. and your counterpart on the <clears throat> other side at the uh, down lineman position. You guys are just, you're really playing at a very high level, Spencer. And yes, we want to congratulate you, man. It was an outstanding performance. So. Uh, Defensive player of the game, Spencer Newman, number 66. Yes, sir. You're thank honoring you. that uh, number pretty well, buddy. I yes, enjoyed sir. that. Yes, sir. Thank you. See ya. Folks, we're back in the field house here with Coach Jason Allen. Coach, uh, it's always uh, interesting to come in after a game like this. I'm racking through my brain trying to come up with questions to ask you, but it's 52-12. Uh, to 12. Uh, one kid, five touchdowns tonight. Luke Tarver just dominating. Spencer Newman dominating on defense along with other players. Um, your assessment after the Morgan game tonight? Yeah, I thought we played really well tonight, Sid. Uh, we were a very physical football team and uh, just had a lot of fun. We were flying around. Um, I thought we did a great job on the line of scrimmage uh, offensively and then defensively uh, just played well. I mean, I was just really proud of the way our kids are progressing. We had too many penalties uh, and then we're struggling in the PAT department, um, but we did a lot of things right. Uh, so uh, it was a great night, great night, homecoming night, Absolutely great crowd. Night. And uh, you know, just, I, I would not have envisioned us being able to play uh, on a field that held up the way it did tonight <laughs> after all the rain we've had. I, I just thought it would be miserable um, conditions and I thought it was a great night for football. I, I was gonna mention that to you at some point in this, we only saw two times it really turf gave. I mean, we really only saw two plays where a guy lost his footing and the field is beautiful and it still looks right out there right now. Absolutely, so um, yeah, credit to the grounds crew, um, uh, me and- <laughs> That huge staff. Me and <laughs> some, some of the other coaches. So we, they, we all chip in and uh, Shane Andrews does a great job helping me paint, I'm getting older, uh, I guess, I guess tough painting the lines every week. I understand it. Well, look, we, we heard a lot of compliments from the guys up in the booth with us about this facility. Uh, they were kind of raving about how beautiful this place is, and it truly is. Facilities look great, and boy, when you pack that crowd out, and it's not just for homecoming, Coach. You know we draw. We got people out here that love this football team. And the football team, I, I find it interesting what you said. This this team came out hungry tonight. I mean, they're four and one, and they came out like they got to have one tonight. <laughs> Yeah, so, I, I could tell it in pregame that uh, they had a little extra juice and, uh, you know, it was cooler. And, um, you know, we, we had not practiced really Wednesday right. or Thursday at all. So I think their legs were a little fresher. And, uh, and, I, and, and we've talked all year just about seizing the opportunity of getting to play every Friday night. You know, you only get to play once a week. And uh, the season's flying by. We're over right. halfway through. And so... Uh, I think these kids are really taking that to heart and they're appreciating every day and every Friday night. Well, it was uh, it was a great performance tonight. Uh, I'll tell you this, um, you know, the, the, uh, the line of scrimmage on offense and defense was absolutely dominated by our guys. But the thing that I really love seeing, the score is, is kind of getting out of hand, but you still had guys flying up from the back line. You still had big guys on the front line just tearing people apart. I mean, the intensity and the physicality of this football team always impresses me. And uh, I think it makes it really hard for our opponents when they come near to play against that. Yeah, but you gotta keep coaching. You gotta keep playing hard, you know. We just value every snap. And like we've talked about many times, we're not putting the backups in to give up touchdowns or, or not score. That's we're putting right. them in there so they can improve when it's their time. And we got some young players that are gonna be really good players. It's just not quite their time yet. That's right. And so um, we enjoy watching them play and we 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 uh, relish the opportunity for them to get snaps because they practice hard too. Absolutely. And there's two things, you know, just it was good for us in the booth. We were, we we're happy to see Jacob get on the field. He basically dominated one drive. You were, you were really, I wondered if you were just trying to get his legs back up under and give him a little game shape. 
and test him, make sure his ankle is solid. But he looked really good on that track. Yeah, yeah, he, he was a little rusty, you know, and he put the ball on the ground one right. time, and he'll be the first to tell you that that's a no-no for right. us. But, uh, you know, we wanted to ease him back in there and get him some carries, um, and so I'm pleased with where he's at, and uh, we're, we're a better football team when he's able to play for us. Well, Coach, I agree with that, absolutely. And uh, once again, you know, number 30 can play a little bit. <laughs> he's a dog. <laughs> He's a, he's a, he's a, he can play, and uh, I think I think he's the best player in our league. Uh, I really do. I've seen all of them, and uh, just uh, the way he plays out there, he makes his teammates better. Um, he's kind of like a coach on the field. Absolutely. And, uh, just great tenacity, just plays the game really hard, plays the right way, and he got off to a great start tonight. He lines us up on defense, and uh, of course he sets a tone running the football sure. for us on offense. Well, you've got a lot of guys who just feed off his energy, I think, and uh, – I also impressed with, you know, this. you just keep pulling running backs out of this roster. I mean, guys that just burst for 20 yards, they get on the corner and make one cut and they're up field for 15 or 20. Uh, it, it's really encouraging to see some of your younger guys get yardage and handle the ball. Yeah, a guy like Jack Nams a lot of years would be carrying the ball a lot for us oh, yeah. uh, in meaningful situations, but he's just behind three seniors that are – you know, been here for a long time, but his turn's going to come, and he understands that. And uh, when he gets his chance out there, I think he sees he's hungry to run the football, and he's very he's a talented kid. Oh well. yeah, he's got great. And you know, I talked to him tonight just briefly, and told him I said, man, it's it's not only just that burst of speed. Now you got that little step, yeah, trying to get that cut out there against the guys. So he's getting better and better. Uh, it's and it's great to see. It's great to see you guys. Uh, there there are multiple players that. I think stepped up. You know, your regulars, they're going to do their job, but it's nice to see other guys kind of get that opportunity and seize it. You know, they're not just out there running around. They're trying to make plays, and uh, we saw an awful lot of good things tonight. Yeah, I thought we threw the ball a little better. We protected a little better tonight. We had a couple of, of, of not-so-great moments in the past game, but uh, we hit a post ball over the middle that was a really a good look for us. We, we ended up having a – a uh, legal procedure penalty that took that away. But even then, I, you know, it was good to see us execute it right. in a game. And then we threw some receiver screens um, and a couple of other different things. We, we threw a middle screen that was really pretty. And so, um, you know, we're, we're working and we're getting better every week. And so um, I like where we're at right well, now. I, I, Chester and I were talking about it during the game. I love to see that pass game. Uh, give that defense something to think about. You know, you don't want to take that extra step and trying to get that eight man up on the line. You're going to get burned. And it's, it's like we're working our way toward being really good at that. Yep. Uh, and your quarterback did a really good job with the, uh, with the count tonight. Got a lot of yardage off of that. Yeah, we did a great job drawing them off side when we needed to. Didn't Absolutely. We? Awesome job. And, Coach, we, we always want to mention this. Thank you again for Thursday nights. We love sitting down talking with you guys up at Monte Albon. But tonight, hey, it's uh, five and one. Uh, non-region game but a 3A game and we'll be ready to play next week against Evangel Christian here at Forward Allen Field. Yep, their head coach is one is probably my best friend in this profession. Uh, just a great guy. He used to be at Cornerstone. We used to have some uh, great battles there and now he's at Evangel Christian which is a partial regular school and has a 1500 uh, enrollee uh, homeschool. Wow. Wow. So they're, they're, they got a lot of kids they choose from up in that Alabaster area. And they are trying to make the transition from eight man to 11 man. They've been eight man national champions like five times in a wow. row. Um, and they played three 11 man games this year. Um, and they went back and played eight man. And now they're coming back to play us 11 again uh, next week. And, uh, They'll be a challenge because their kids have won so much. They 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 don't they don't understand um, how to not play hard. They, they expect to win right. when they go out there, and that means a lot. So um, so I'm expecting a, a really a good opponent next week, and uh, we're gonna have to be prepared. They do a lot of stuff, and uh, just excited about another Friday getting to play. Well, no injuries of note that you're aware uh, not, of. Tonight. Not, not that we're no nothing serious. So that's that's a good thing. Well, coach, I know that whatever those guys bring up, we're going to be ready to play. Like we always are, and um, right. you know it's always a pleasure to sit down and hear big win tonight. So congratulations, and uh, I'll let you take us out. Yeah, thank you, and it's great to play for the CNEA. Thanks, everybody.